on the one half of the campus, we're trying to develop apps. And then on my half of the campus, we're trying to understand, well, what apps should we have? What are these apps doing to us? And what do we want these apps not doing to us? My name is Nolan Gertz. I'm an assistant professor of applied philosophy at the University of Twente. My main areas of expertise are applied ethics, phenomenology, and existentialism. We live in a technological age, uh, sometimes referred to as the age of information. Technology is everywhere. I have a variety of technical devices on me. Um, some would even argue in me, depending on your definition of technology. So we need to learn how to live with technology in uh, not just our everyday lives, but how to live with it in, so to speak, the right way. Do we want Siri answering our questions? Do we want Google telling us how to move around? The book project that I'm uh, working on now is concerned with um, the age of information and what we could call the age of nihilism. So we're bringing the world together. We have the World Wide Web. We have, again, on this campus, high-tech human touch. Um, but it seems like more and more the high tech is replacing the human touch. So the question becomes, what does it mean uh, that I can swipe through uh, birthday announcements, uh, baby photos, uh, declarations of war, uh, people suffering, and again, I'm just swiping. So there's actually something in uh, the very technology that we're using to get closer to the world that might also be distancing us from it. And this is, again, sort of the understanding of, of nihilism or what it means to not care. Uh, so if liking and retweeting becomes caring, then what does that mean for our everyday lives? So what does that mean when your iPhone's not there anymore? Then are you actually, in turning off your smartphone, turning off yourself? And is this why when you get on an airplane and they make the announcement, please turn off your phone now or we're all going to die, you say, I'll take my chances and keep crushing candy. And that is why the ethics of technology is so important, because if we're going to live with technology, through technology, and possibly even as technology, then we need to know how to live in the right way. <laughs>